Hey crew, I hate to say it, but Titans just got a whole lot better with this build. I mean, just watch what happens on screen here. We throw back to back to back grenades on one of the strongest classes in the game, and I'm really excited to show this build off for you. With Void 3.0 coming with Witch Queen, just imagine a throwable shield as our melee with this build, and things just start to get crazy. All the mods that make it so strong can be attained this season from the compass in the helm, so that's a big bonus for this build. We truly have unlimited grenades and melee, and what's even crazier is we are in Middle Tree Sentinel, and I'm sure some of you guys already know this, but Middle Tree Sentinel is an absolute beast with its Void Detonators perk and its super with Ursa's in Grandmasters. We have combined some mods and sent this build over the top, and it's really thanks to the Void Detonators because they are able to proc Explosive Wellmaker. I'm not sure how many of you know about this, but when the chain detonators go off, it procs Explosive Wellmaker and we spawn two Solar Wells, which means we can also slot Well of Ordinance, which gives us additional grenade energy on one of the most strong classes in the game for grenades. Throw on Bountiful Well to spawn two wells for every kill on an enemy, and we are making wells rain left and right. Also, the Void Detonators, even from your melee, proc Explosive Wellmaker and spawn us two Solar Wells without even having Melee Wellmaker on. And you can shoot a Void Detonator that's been attached to an enemy, and the explosion can spawn wells that way. So you can literally just shoot your gun at somebody that you've put a detonator on, and it'll spawn solar wells when they explode. I was pretty blown away running this build in my day-to-day -day content like Strikes Gambit and Astro Alignment and whatnot, and it is now my favorite Titan build by far because it competes in 1350 level content and Grandmaster content because we can literally just switch the mods on our arms for the champion mods. And I cleared a few 1350 Nightfalls and Master Lost Sectors with ease. And then if you go into the Grandmaster Strikes, you just switch up the exotic we are running for one of the best Grandmaster exotics out there. There's a clip of a 1350 Lost Sector somewhere in here so you guys can see how well it does in there. If you find this build helpful or enjoy it, then hit that subscribe button and become part of the crew here. There will be a pic of the build somewhere in this video that looks pretty good. And also, if you want a place where you can see all my builds in a simple picture format, instead of always screenshotting it from the video, then join the Discord. The link is down below in the pinned comment and it looks like what you're seeing on screen here. And it's a pretty nice images that you guys can just pull and use. Also, the link to my Twitch channel is down below as well so come on over and say hi whenever we do stream we're going to cover the subclass real fast because there are some really important perks in it and then the two exotics and when you should be switching to them and using them and then also the mods you should be using to spawn literally like six wells left and right for you and your fire team our two most important perks are controlled demolition hit a target with a void ability to attach a void detonator further hits cause the detonator to explode dealing damage to surrounding targets. And then our next one is resupply. You and nearby allies regain health as well as grenade and melee energy when your void detonators explode. Every time they explode and you see that chain reaction going on, you're getting both of these abilities and your health back. We also have tactical strike, strike an enemy with this melee ability to cause a void explosion. And then we have your super, which is a banner shield. Guard with Sentinel Shield to create a defensive wall. Allies who shoot through the wall have increased weapon damage and guarding allies makes the shield last longer. Now for the mods and then the exotics. On my helmet, I have Bountiful Wells. Elemental Well mods that cause you to spawn Elemental Wells can now stack, spawning additional wells for each additional copy of the mod you have equipped. And then I also have Ashes to Assets. We double stack this on our helmet, gain bonus super energy on grenade kills. On our arms, we have Elemental Ordnance. Defeating a combatant with a grenade spawns an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type. And then I also have Grenade Kickstart. When your grenade energy is fully expended, you gain grenade energy. Now you can sub out Kickstart, and that's where I put on Unstoppable Fusion and Anti-Barrier or Overload Champion with a bow, whatever I may need for whatever content I'm doing. But you can sub Grenade Kickstart out for those. On my chest piece, I have Explosive Wellmaker. Rapidly defeating combatants with explosive damage spawns a solar elemental well. On my boots, I have Seeking Wells. Elemental wells you create will move across the ground toward nearby players. I really like this mod. You can actually change this one out if you don't mind going and picking up your wells. But for me personally, I just enjoy them coming to me and I can just deal with enemies 
that I'm fighting instead of having to think in my mind, oh, let me go grab these wells to make sure I get my grenade back. And then on our class item, we have Well of Ordinance, which is a big one. Picking up a solar elemental well grants you additional grenade energy. Multiple copies of this mod increase this effect. We only have one on. Also on our class item, we have Bomber. Reduce grenade cooldown when using your class ability. And then of course, anything to do with fusion rifles or linear fusion rifles, we have Particle Deconstruction slotted. So the wells seek towards us with Seeking Wells. They give us ability energy across the board, and then we get extra grenade ability energy from Well of Ordinance, right? And we have Explosive Well Maker and Elemental Ordinance that's creating our wells. And then we have Bountiful Wells that's doubling the wells that is created. So we throw a grenade, we get a kill that spawns two Void Wells. Our Void Detonators go off and that spawns two Solar Wells. So we've created four wells that's all feeding back into our ability regeneration and extra to our grenade because of well of ordinance and then we melee something put the void detonators they go off and we spawn two more solar wells because of explosive well maker which feeds again into our grenade so you can kind of see the loop here and if you're ever short on something you can pop your barricade that's gonna activate bomber and give you more grenade now let's go over the two exotics and when you should be using which one. The first one is Heart of Inmost Light, and you want to be using this basically all the way up to 1350 content. The perk is Overflowing Light. Using an ability, Grenade, Melee, or Barricade empowers the other two abilities. Empowered means abilities have faster regen, Melees and Grenades do more damage, and Barricades have more hit, hit points. So if I punch an enemy, right? That empowers me times one, and then I throw my grenade. That empowers me times two. I'm empowered times two, which makes my abilities stronger and makes my regen of abilities much quicker. Do we need this extra regen? Maybe not, because we're getting so much from void detonators and from all the wells and mods that we're using. But that just adds a little bit more on top and allows you to keep chaining them back and forth much quicker. Our second exotic is Ursa Furiosa's, and the perk is move faster while guarding when Sentinel Shield is active. Guarded damage converts to super energy when the super ends. This is a great exotic. It's been a staple in any type of builds for Titans in Grandmasters for the past, I don't know, like three or four seasons pretty easily. And it's just so clutch because you can go guard, pick up a revive, let that enemy or let that teammate back out. You can clear a room of enemies with it because of the void detonators that activate while you're in your super. And you get half of your super back just by guarding while in your super and taking damage it's a very good there's very few times when you switch off this and run thunder crash or maybe like top tree bubble very few times are you switching to those on certain grandmasters normally this is the one you're using for most grandmasters my warlock and hunter void builds are up on screen so go give those a watch and i'll see you guys all in the next one